Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be doing the um, names I love but won't be using video thing. I don't think it's a tag, so I'm going to just say video. <laughs> but if you want to listen and check out some names that I liked but just will not be using, <laughs> then just keep watching. As you can see, I finally changed my um, whiteboard to my June goals because <laughs> I realized last week's uh, videos still had May. <laughs> and I realized it after I'd already posted them, but that's fine. So I got the June goals, switched them up a little bit. I think there's two that are from the old ones. And I've got start house hunting. I'm so excited. Monday's my second meeting with um, the guy we took the class with, the guy that's like helping us through the process. And I'm really hoping that like there's more information and you know, like I get to start. Like I really just want to get um, pre-qualified or whatever it is, pre-authorized, whatever. They give you like the amount that they think you'll get and then you get to start looking at houses based on that amount. So I'm hoping that I can convince them Monday. Cause like I said, this baby, the due date was October 12th. When we went to the appointment yesterday, she said um, October 8th, but that it still could be within that range or whatever, but basically beginning of October. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, so I want to be like September, mid-September, like pick the house, the house is mine type of deal, you know, like a week or two to get settled in. Um, so yeah, hopefully he has more information there for me and you guys can look out for a video really, really soon. I'm just going to go over like what the class was like and what the first two meetings were like and things like that. Um, just to kind of keep the order going, you know, of like what the house hunting process has been like for me. I'm going to share those goals with you guys real quick, <laughs> but, um, yeah, moving on to what you actually obviously are here to see by the title of this video. <laughs> So I'm going to start with boy names, um, just cause, just cause. <laughs> so the first boy name I have is Santiago and this is actually really funny. Um, I remember I was like, what is the most Spanish name like you could think of? And Santiago was like one of the first, there's another one, but Santiago was like one of the first that popped in my head and I was like, Santiago, huh? I like it. Santiago, Santiago, like it kind of sounds good in both, you know, so um, that's pretty much the same. It was just like the most Spanish name you could think of. That was one of the ones that came to mind. I liked it when I said it out loud. And yeah, that was before we knew. It was a little lady in here. <laughs> um, then we have Cole. I think if you've seen our gender reveal for Carter, you saw that it was like Cole or Carter. Like we had Cole picked as the boy's name. Um, but I don't know, I've changed my mind since then. We have a name picked out now if we ever, um, like if we try again and get blessed with a boy, we already have that name. Obviously I won't be shaming you here because it's a name I will be using. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that was Cole. Just like the sound of it and there's not really any like anything behind it. But, um, and then, okay, next name is Liam. I feel like with the boys names, I really don't have much of like explanations as to why or like, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah, Liam, I just like the sound of it. Um, I like short names. I always think about like my kid trying to spell it or like things like that, you know, or like people butchering the spelling of names. So just like the name Liam. <laughs> um, and then the last boy name I have, I only have four of each, so this video is going to be shortish, but the last boy name I have is Marino, Marino. And that's, um, you heard that? <laughs> Marino um that was one of the other Spanish names that came to mind and I just really liked it like um there was actually a kid at my old job back home whose name was Marino um but yeah no I just it's a cute it's a really cute name like it grows with them you know it can be for an older but it's still a cute little kid name so yeah I like it you know but another like shortish kind of easy to spell name so you never know if I don't know if the next time we try, we have twins and they're twin boys. I would definitely use Marino and the other name, which is perfect because they're both M names. But anywho, I digress. <laughs> so those are the boy names. Now we're going to move on to girl names. And um, the first girl name I have is Callie. I just love that name. I think it's so adorable. It's so girly. It's just, it's a girl name and it's so cute. But Peyton. Shout out to One Tree Hill. <laughs> I just always like that name. It's different, you know? I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's. I feel like it's probably used more often now than back, like when I heard it and was like, oh, I want to use that type of vibe. 
but yeah so and then I have um, the last two names for girls are more of the Hispanic style name um, so I have Mariana um, which is Mariana in English and I think so originally like before we knew what the baby was me and Cameron were like Mariana like that's the name like that's it it's set like it has to be um, and then having the baby I thought like you know I think a lot about like how your kids are gonna compare themselves or what they're gonna think about each other and or their own name because of what the other one's name is things like that and so like I love the name Mariana I don't really like this is a tough part I feel like with Spanish names a lot of them just get butchered in English and don't sound as pretty you know so it's like I picked it because I like how it sounds in Spanish but then you know because you know we live in a world where it's mostly English spoken uh, not in a world but in America where we live um, you know your kids it's gonna be major the majority of the time in English and so it's gonna be butchered because there's gonna be very few people in her life who are actually like Mariana you know she's gonna go to school and every teacher's gonna be like Mariana and I don't know, I just, I liked it better the way it sounded in Spanish. But I also thought about like with Carter, I was like, is Carter gonna be like, why is my name Carter? And she gets this girly name, girly Spanish name, like, <laughs> or vice versa. She was gonna be like, why is Carter's name shorter? I like it better, whatever. And um, also, I just like the vibe that Carter's name give me. And um, I love like unisex gender neutral names. I, Carter, I tried to convince him to go with Alex. I love the name Alex for a girl. Um, but he didn't want to. He just kept saying Alex Danvers, like from Supergirl. And I was like, okay, I guess, whatever. <laughs> so Alex was out of the window. But oh, I guess that was the name I should have put on here. So Alex, that's my fave name. He doesn't like it though, so obviously it won't be a name we'd, we'd be able to use. But you guys can feel free to take it. <laughs> so yeah, Mariana just doesn't go with the theme of names that I want from my girls. <laughs> And then this last one, my sister was like, that's my name. I'm like, you've never even spoken to me about this name. So, mm. and so I was like sending her names I was thinking of. And then aside from Mariana, this was another one that me and Cam were like, I like that. So, uh, which I think actually the combination we came up with was, okay, I'm getting out of my phone. <laughs> the name is Catalina, Catalina. Um, I heard it in Colombiana and I just liked it. It's a beautiful Spanish name. It just flows off your tongue, Catalina. <laughs> but yeah, so we, I think we'd originally like, we were like Catalina Mariana, like throw it all together, you know? But obviously no, we didn't, we didn't. But yeah, so I had said that name yesterday and I told him, so I was like, oh my God, like Catalina, whatever, like the middle name, you're gonna hear it in a minute, but Catalina blank. And then um, I was texting back with my sister and she's like, ah, you guys keep taking my names because her and my cousin have this like fight for the name Valentina. But um, yeah, so, but then I thought about it. And again, this is, I don't want anyone to get offended by names, you know? I did never really like my name, but you grow out of the whole like, I hate my name thing most of the time. <laughs> but um, I didn't like, I was like, everyone's gonna want to call her cat for short. Cause you know it's again it's another name that it's like Catalina, it's Catalina in English. So you know the girls me go cat for short, just call me cat for short, and I'm like, I don't like that. And I also like that's a tough part with nicknames. And sometimes you almost feel like I gave them this entire name for a reason. If I wanted people to call her Cat, that would be her name, just Cat. <laughs> so call her Catalina. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, I can throw this paper because I'm done with it. <laughs> um, those were all, not all of the names, because you know, you think of names all the time. There was names, I was looking at the list because I have a list in my phone and I was like, I'm not going to say that one because it's not like a favorite. Um, I kind of felt like, okay, this is names I love, so I'm not just going to like throw in every name I've ever considered naming my kid, you know? Um, but yeah, so those are all the names. <sighs> okay. As you saw by the title, <laughs> I decided to include the name reveal for baby numero dos in this video. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm so nervous to say it. Like Carter's name, we were just like, Carter, like it was in the gender video and everything. So, this little bun in this little oven's name is going to be Kai Mila Mitchell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I really like the vibe. Again, it's like that first name that can kind of, that's unisex. Um, 
Kai, and then the middle name Mila. I, I feel like it kind of does give that little girly twist, but in the middle. The same thing with Carter. Carter's name is Carter Chanel. So you kind of have that like Chanel, oh, you know? But I don't know, I was just like, and then the middle names give me such similar vibes, you know, like Chanel, Mila, so like French and, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. But I like, they have the same vibe. I like, <laughs> they have the same vibe. So um, yeah, we will have a little girl coming that but yeah carter chanel and kai mila <laughs> those are our two little girls i don't know why like i just it makes me all giddy to say it to you guys <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with me okay um but yeah that's pretty much it those are the names um that's the baby's name and i hope you guys enjoyed the video like the video comment down below your thoughts names that you would choose um how much you hate the names that i love <laughs> subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye